Yo, yo, what's up, what's up, it's Geos. We are at the Royal Arena TV and we are with Delinquent Habits, uh, Ives and DJ Invincible. What's up, guys? Same thing, different day, man. Just came to rock a show, you know? Everything good? Good to see you, yeah, perfect. So, uh, DJ Invincible, actually, you're from Switzerland. And Ives, of course, you're from Los Angeles. Yes, sir. Uh, recently, like, even today, you just dropped a new video clip. Which is called Go Easy. Yeah. Uh, I saw that it was mixed and um, uh, like the, the master and the mix uh, was done in Switzerland. And I think that some scenes were shot here as well. The scenes were shot here. Um, also, the beat was made here. Yeah. Invincible and Ruck. You guys, you see at the beginning of the video, they did the, be the beats. They did the beat for California. One, two, three. They basically are the like the new producers of the of the golden era stuff. You know, they know what they're doing. Yeah, the California California video clip is with uh, Shundog, right? Yeah, Shundog too. Shundog, yeah. And uh, DJ Invincible, how did it happen? Like, how did you meet Delinquent Habits? Tell us the story, please. That's a pretty long story. It was kind of like by incidents. Yeah, necessity <laughs> right. or like just a Yeah, like w we met before, but like someone, I jumped in for a show like seven years ago. I jumped in for a show in Budapest and like... We were having some issues with our old DJ. OG Style had had to leave the group for some reasons. And um, we were working with some other DJs kind of, you know, just to so we can be out on tour and make it happen. And then um, we had one and he flaked out. And then Sebi came and, and filled in. And ever like, since then, we've been family, man. I kept him around. I was like, did you, you just go on the stage and say, yo, I'm a DJ or? A no, he already knew. He, he was already a good DJ. But... It was the first day we got together. We did the set list. He was super profi, so we just kept with it. But did you guys meet here at the Royal Arena Festival or? Uh, no, we didn't. We met at the studio when he worked with Rock, like the first time. Oh, but like right. two years later, like when we met at the airport, we didn't meet before the show we did together. But like when we met at the airport in Zurich to go to Budapest, like, he hey. saw me and was like, dude, I saw you before. And I was like, I yeah, it kind of <laughs> like, it went over like seven corners to get to the point where we went on stage together. But since we did, I think it was like... It was meant to be. Yeah. It's definitely something cool. Like, you know, we're not only like bandmates, but this is my family. You know what I mean? Like, I look at him as a little brother. Anybody mess with him, I'm on a plane. You know what I mean? That's how it goes. It's good people. Actually, on your Wikipedia biography, DJ Invincible is now a, like part of the group. It's official, so. Yes, sir. Cool. So, Even officially delinquent habits. Yes, sir. Is from Quentin. Los Angeles and Switzerland. Yep. Yeah, Cali straight to Morton. That's like it. Like the Go Easy video, like straight yeah. from Morton to Cali. It basically it tells the story like of the actual situation. Yeah, it, it, like it tells the story of the song, the band, everything. It's just really cool. Yes, uh, Ives, if you, uh, it's not your first time here in Switzerland, of no, course. No, no, no. Uh, can you describe Switzerland with three words? Hmm. How can I say in three words? Uh, Let's say um, very on time. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not a cliche. It's not you know, stereotype. It's, everything's perfect. I mean, everything is, you know, it's real. Three words is tough, you know, because I have a lot of history here. But oh, sorry. But in Switzerland, um, you know, we, we pretty much got a very good start with the music here. You know, when we were coming from Europe, Switzerland, was one of the first countries along with Germany and, and Holland to say, hey, we love you guys. And for me, I guess, so if I say three words, I'd say, thank you a lot. Right? <laughs> it, it's, it, it does thank for, you a thank lot. you yeah. a lot. <laughs> it's okay, it's, it's okay. All right. um, you know, you've been in the game for years now, Delinquent Habits. Right. What do uh, what you think about the West Coast scene nowadays? There are many artists. I mean, I think the West Coast scene has pretty much stayed the same. Like, we, we, still, might, we still come from the streets. You know, we, we do our, I like to call it, like, ocean-grown hip-hop. You know, we, we, we're out there on the coast. Um, you know, a lot of this trap stuff is coming in, or was in, or hopefully it's going to die soon. <laughs> but, um... So I guess you don't like the trap. It's so shit. bullshit. I mean, it's bullshit. I mean, the only one doing it to me that has real skill is Kendrick Lamar. And he's not really doing an all trap style. He does like, he's just dope. Um, the rest of them, you know, 
I hate them. They could fight me in the cage. They could get in the ring with me, whatever they want to do. And I'll take them one at a time or all at the same time because I worked a lot of years to make this hip hop real. You know, I never sold my soul, never sold out. That's why I still work every day as a tattoo artist and I do what I love as music, you know. It's serious to me. I don't like the culture where, you know, we smoke weed, man. We like to get high. But these guys are promoting, you know, taking pills and stuff that kills people, you know, ruins your whole life. And I just ain't feeling it. Actually, I wanted to speak with you about the XXL freshman class, but I don't, uh, I'm not going to do it because you already like XXL, entered. XXL, who is XXL freshman class? Like uh, XX Sex Tentation, uh, Made in Tokyo, Cap G, uh, Amine, do you, do you know a few of those nah, artists? Nah, I might have seen them and maybe wanted to beat them up, but I never like seen them <laughs> play. The thing yeah, is, most is of them are like trap artists. But there is a, a, a woman from California who is called Kamaya. Do uh -huh. you know her? Never. No. Okay. And she's doing trap too? Not really. She's affiliated with YG. Do you know YG? Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, to me, I think like this. Hip-hop was always about 16 bars. It was always about coming with real lyrics, metaphors, things that made people think. And now it's just this... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man. Mumble rap. Yeah, it doesn't... It, There's no place in my heart for that. And Invincible, what's your uh, feeling about this? And, uh, and actually, I wanted also to uh, talk with you about the Swiss scene. Yeah. So uh, do you know a bit of artists from here? Uh, yes, I do know a bunch of them. I'm not like following every, every release that's coming out or whatever, but like I'm yeah, pretty aware of it. And yeah, especially know like the German rapping guys from the area of like, like the city burn and stuff like that. But yeah. So do you have a few names that you could like recommend to the public that you like in to the Swiss scene? Well, uh, yeah, let's put it like that. I think the names I, I mostly follow are the names most people know in Switzerland. So like um, stress. <laughs> <laughs> I would say Manilio is my favorite rapper. Manilio, so far. okay, yeah. It's like the raps into production because like everything is tight. He does, but just like all the guys around him, like the whole. El Dorado FM, but SOS crew, like La Boss from Beale, that's like dope rap. That's like bringing back something that was missing for a while. Yeah. So like there's a lot of dope guys around. El Dorado FM is with Desmond Des, right? Right. Yo, salute Desmond Des. I see you, guy. Uh, hey, but what about our homie Skinny Fresh out of Basel? And Skinny Fresh out of Basel. But that's yeah. not like the Swiss uh, yeah, that's my mother boy. language. Yeah. He's a dope guy. He was our support act like through all over Europe. He's this guy from Basel and he raps in English. So he's more like, I didn't think yeah. about English rap rapping guys. From and he Switzerland. raps better than most of the guys that are coming out in the US now. Yes. Skinny fresh. Yeah, Skinny he'll fresh. kill all the trap rappers with his rhymes. He's dope, real dope. Okay, okay, let's, we will, we will check, we will check it out. Is Kimo, uh, Kimo is always uh, still a uh, part of the group? Oh, right? of course, he yeah. just got held up at the airport. Oh, really? Yeah, so he would be here right now, but, uh, you know, these L.A. flights and training all over the world, it's, it's, it takes time. So it's not the Swiss time? <laughs> no, definitely not Swiss time. It's L.A. time for sure. Half hour late, you know, maybe an hour, still okay. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, about the Californian life, w uh, what were your feelings when you, like, arrived there and uh, began chilling with the delinquent habits, DJ Invincible? Can you tell us <laughs> how is it popping? I'm not going to mention the weed. I just did it, but <laughs> <laughs> you just did it. <laughs> but, but that's all I said about it. So much, but like um, but now in Switzerland we have a kind of weed that is like legalized. CBD. You know? yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, you already yeah. know. I can. Yeah, teach you I bring um, some. Yeah. <laughs> so I like the coolest thing. I would say like when I first went to Los Angeles, he picked me up like 11 p.m. at the airport. Uh, we we jumped in his truck and like his radio was like turned on, and the first song that came on was California Love. And I was like, yeah. damn, I knew Classic I'm in shit. L.A. Yeah, I was like, and that was bumping in the radio, not, not on a CD or something. Yeah. So yeah, that's different. Did. That's the main difference. I realized the first thing that was like, just they're still living it. The vibe is like, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. We don't have to. We don't make something false. We just live life. It's there's no picture to paint. It's just you get up and live it. It's it's strange. The West Coast is different. It's always been and it's still yeah. different. Yeah. And uh, then, man, so uh, what's the, the, the way of chilling over there? The <laughs> I heard that you were doing a lot of barbecues, guys, actually. Oh, yeah, and that's I right. I, I don't know if it's uh, fake news or no, real no, news. No, it's real. 
True story. There, there's one barbecue a lot of people talk about because there was one picture. Oh <laughs> yeah. Like uh, that was when um, me and my girl traveled the West Coast and we were at his home like throwing a delinquent party and Everybody his grill was up. like stacked and like a lot of people like always talk about. I had every scene. every meat you could put on a grill I put on there except maybe monkey. I didn't have any monkey. <laughs> and no like zebra. Included uh, human meat. No, no human, <laughs> but I had a baby giraffe. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 now we had ribs and salmon and lobster and steak and chicken and everything that we think they might want, you know. Whatever you could think of. Yeah. And it's like the like that was a perfect night. Like relax. You got the you always got like the the, the ocean breeze kind of like when you're in LA. You got the warm sunshine and like everybody's relaxed. So that they're, they're like kind of late usually because they're more relaxed. So there's a good yeah, reason for it. It'll still be there in 10 minutes. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, 10 minutes, even <laughs> four hours, we will still be yeah. here. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, wha how is your touring life? I mean, how many shows you do with delinquent habits per year? And how many months are you or are you living over there and here in Switzerland? Well, I'm living in Switzerland full time whenever I'm not on tour. Yeah. But um, like this year, we released a new record in March and uh, like we're pretty busy touring. We do like 70, 80 shows this year, yeah. like all over so the globe. Now, wow. No, like uh, over the, the, the year, like 80 yeah. shows this year, okay, like yeah, all yeah. over the globe. So we're pretty busy right now. <laughs> so your main work is working as a DJ. You, because you couldn't say to your uh, boss. I have a part time job in Switzerland still, but my my boss over there is like super nice and her favorite rap group is the Wu-Tang Clan so she's kind of like cool with what I do yeah. <laughs> like, and she knows what my first choice is and like okay like okay so <laughs> she respects <laughs> yeah. but it's cool to have like kind of both like yeah. still have like a kind of a regular life he's a tattoo artist too when he's not on tour and so I think it's always good if you have a balance it even makes you enjoy more being on the road and kind of course. like do what you love when you're yeah. doing your bullshit every day I mean I love tattooing but I'd much rather be rocking the stage than wiping blood and sweat mm -hmm. and stuff off people. You know what I mean? It's, but I love tattooing. But at the same time, like you said, when you get on stage, you realize, ah, this is my passion. This is where I belong, you know? And I was just thinking about the, like, your, your tattoo artist activity. Yeah. Actually, m most of the trap artists you said you hate are like tattooed on the whole body, well, even of the, on yeah. the face. Could, couldn't you like find a mutual I, Again, the thing culture? is, in the tattoo culture, we have uh, a saying, and you don't become, you don't get in our culture overnight just by getting tattoos. It's easy for someone that maybe is not so cool, not so nice, or not someone you want to hang out with, go to the tattoo shop, say, here, $5,000, fix me up. They make all their tattoos, and then they go find new friends. That's not how we work. Um, and I shouldn't say I hate the rappers. I don't hate any human being that I don't know, you know, and I try not to hate, but um, I just don't like what they did to hip hop. I think that hip hop was really doing something. When Method Man and Mary J. Blige won a, won a Grammy in the R&B category, that's when everything started going crazy. They're like, oh shit, rap's taking over R&B too? We better fuck it up. Let's make a bunch of dummies do trap. You know what I mean? And there it went. Actually, I, I like rap music, uh, trap music, but I respect your point of view. I mean, as the well, beats are dope. Yeah. If if you if you put a real rapper on a trap beat, then you're gonna hear some good music. But these guys can't rap. So. Accepted Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. <laughs> because he's uh, he's from the he's West good. Coast. He's good. <laughs> no, I think your coast doesn't matter, but I just think he's doing good. There's another cat. I think his name's Big Sean or something, or Lil Sean or Big Sean. Big Sean or something. Yeah, Big Sean is from Detroit. Yeah. And I like what he sounds like too, because he's actually rapping over trap beats. J Cole as well, you know J Cole. Yeah, J Cole too. It's but not like trap, like like dirty trap. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like, but the stuff like like Future and all these guys, those guys need to just retire. Yeah, Get yeah, that, yeah. Uh, God, there's no <laughs> rhymes. There's no. There's nothing. There's nothing. You know. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I wanted to uh, talk about the last point. Uh, I just like checked all your biography and I had like uh, forgotten that one of your songs, Return of the Tres, the, 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 the Tres, like the- Yeah, Return of the Tres, tres right? yeah, the three, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was taken like 20 years ago uh, for a big uh, adver advertising. Yes, uh, yes. It was with like Nike football, yeah, exactly. For the World 
broke up with uh, Ronaldo and all those guys. And Messi bouncing the ball back. Yeah. That N- was I think that. No, no, no. I, I think, think it was like Ronaldo, the Brazilian one. That's right. Robert, Roberto Carlos and all those Ibrahimovic guys. was in there too. Yeah. Like the very young Ibrahimovic, I think. I uh, yeah, yeah, true, true. Yeah, Ibrahimovic. Yeah, yeah. That was something really good for us. That worked yeah, really that well. That, so my first question was that, like, are you still earning some money of this? Oh, I mean, time? yeah, we earn money from the songs for sure. Mm. It's not what people think, you know. Um, unfortunately, the, the artists usually don't get as much money as the managers and the lawyers and the lo- labels and the agents and whoever else can find a way to put their nose in your money. And now the streaming uh, platforms as well and all the... Everything's gone. So artists basically, if you're not Justin Bieber or one of the big guys, you have to find a way to really, you know, do it well. So. And my second question about it is uh, if uh, today one uh, big uh, brand would ask you to put one of your song into their advertise uh, would you do it would you still do it and uh um, I would do it for sure if it was something l- like what the Nike did like you know something positive um, I'm no political stuff no no uh, outlandish things you know I want my music to mean something but at the same time in 20 years when my kids you know when I die and my kids get what I get I want to make sure that there's something there from my music so they know that when I was gone on the road all those times and I'm calling them from the phone or Skyping them or whatever, it was worth it, you know? Their time away from dad was worth something so that I could give them something in the future. Unfortunately, that hasn't happened yet, but maybe it will sooner or later, you know? Yeah, we hope, we hope for you guys. Uh, if you have a uh, last word to say about, like, the Royal Arena or Switzerland or you can check the camera and tell it right now it's your time Invinci- invincible thanks for having us it's like to me royal arena is being home it's like where i grew up so it's like a special thing every year i come here even it's cool to bring my west coast family here yeah. this year so it's kind of like it's going to be a good time I mean, for me like uh the royal arena is is like another step up we've been coming here for years and we just barely missed it all the time And now, whether it's with Sevi because of family or whatever, we're here and I'm happy to be here. And uh, everybody that's here, we're definitely going to give you 110%. As we always do. Always. Yes. Thank you a lot, guys. You, Royal Arena TV, Color 3 Geos, Delinquent Habits. Skrrr!